Welcome back, friends. So we just talked about water, and we talked about the different states of water. Remember, the liquid, the solid, and the gas. Now let's talk about how this fits into the water cycle. Okay, friends, I have my handy dandy chalkboard. Now I know I have a lot going on here, but let's talk about what I have. I've got a mountain, I've got a lake and a river and an ocean. I've got trees, I've got clouds, I've got the sun, so much going on. And you're also probably thinking, Miss G, what are those red squiggly lines or those purple arrows? Well, let's talk about those. Did you know that our air, our atmosphere, likes to recycle? Do you like to recycle? I sure do. It's good for our planet. Well, the air, the atmosphere, likes to recycle water. So let's talk about it. First, you have water in your oceans and your lakes and the rivers. Remember when the sun heats up water? Remember that water can become a gas if it heats up enough? And that's called our water vapor. And when that gas goes up into the sky, as it gets further away from the ground, it actually gets colder. So when that gas gets colder, what's going to happen? It's going to turn back into a liquid, but it's going to do that as a cloud. It's going to condense into a cloud. And then once the clouds get so big and so heavy, what do you think happens? We get rain or snow. That's our precipitation. And that falls back down to the ground and it starts the process over again. That's the water cycle. Now there are a few other things here. We don't just get water in the air from lakes or rivers or lakes. We can also get water into the air from trees and grass and plants. And there are a whole bunch of fancy words for all of these processes. You can watch my next video to find out. But what I want you to know is that the water that we have here on the ground is the same water we get into the sky. And is the same water that's in the clouds and the rain and the snow and even the snow that's in the mountains. There's one other thing I want you to know about. If we have snow up in the mountains and the sun warms up our mountains, what do you think is going to happen to the snow? It's a solid and it warms up. So it's going to turn back into a liquid and that's called runoff. So we get all of the water recycling. How cool is that? Wasn't that fascinating? I tell you, water is probably my favorite thing to talk about when we're talking about meteorology. Now, we've talked about temperature. We've talked about winds and air pressure. We've talked about clouds and sky cover. And we've talked about water and the water cycle. All of this is what describes our weather. Now, we get a wide variety of types of weather, angry weather, happy weather, and we're going to dive into each one of those. But I want to hear from you. What are you most excited about talking about with weather? Is it tornadoes? Is it hurricanes? Is it drought? Is it snow? Tell me, and we'll make sure we get to it. See you soon.